Our Tar Heel Traveler is in Hyde County this week on Ocracoke Island. Tonight, Scott Mason meets a longtime Ocracoke character. Golf carts are a big part of Ocracoke Island. And so is Rex O'Neill. I lost my cap in Barney's Gap. Now, where do you think I'll find it? I said, teach his hole, God to bless my soul, but my brim was tore from around it. He's a hoy toiter, an Ocracoke native. That's my brother's house, where my brother's house lives right here. Did you have a big family? I come from a family of 11 boys, no girls. All hoy toiters. That's Little Rex. It's the old timer you said, well, it's hoy toid on the sinusoid. Last night, the water fart, night in moonshine, no fish. What do you suppose the matter is, our Uncle Woods? Uncle Woods, what did he just say? Okay, it means it's high tide on the sine side, meaning the Pamlico sign. Last night, the water fire. Water fire meaning the phosphorus in the water lighting up the, lighting up the water. No fish, Uncle Woods. Young Rex and a big fish. There's a book out actually called Hoy Toyed. I'm actually on the cover of the book, to be honest with you. He was a fisherman. Commercial fishing, you know. I commercial fished for 42 years and built houses. I built probably 80 or 90 houses on there. I had a little construction crew going. He's always going. Now we're going down the back road, what they call the back road. How much does the population swell during the summer? It goes from about between eight and 900 to about 10,000. And every summer, thousands rent golf carts. How's business? Business is crazy. This weekend is crazy. <laughs> it's also really fun. Rex has been renting carts to tourists since 2015. I guess they're from all over the world. They are. They are from all, all the world. They think I'm from Australia. Australia? No, I'm not from Australia, buddy. <laughs> He's a hoitoiter from Ocracoke. It's an Irish English. Scottish, it's got some Scottish in it, you know. My grandmother's house used to be right here. He has seen the island chain. This used to be a dirt road. And maybe the island has lost a bit of its unique accent. It might be changing, but so is the rest of the world. Rex O'Neill is still at home. But it is a special place. And he's still having fun on Ocracoke. Hoy toyed on the sign soy. Last night water fire, night moonshine, no fish. What do you suppose the matter is, our Uncle Woods? <laughs> I don't know how, but I started to kind of understand him by the end of that, the end of that story there. Uh, these days, Rex O'Neill rarely leaves Ocracoke Island. He has a wife, four children, and six grandchildren, who he says keeps him pretty well entertained. Wow.